If you haven't changed the way that you're doing your Amazon keyword research in the past couple of months as of about mid-2018 here, it's very likely that you're doing it incorrectly because there's been a big change in the software tools where they now, certain tools, Helium 10 and Viral Launch, now have access to exact Amazon data. And this is like literally the exact Amazon data. And if you're using a tool like Merchant Words, which a lot of people are, you are doing it on very, very bad data, okay? Merchant Words is essentially just using Bing, Google, and other search engines, and they're trying to derive what the actual search volume is. It's just an estimation, and it's very, very wrong. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys some examples of how it's wrong, and then why the new tools are better. So I'm actually explaining everything about Amazon Keyword Research, because not in this video, but in the next video, I have one releasing tomorrow, I'm going through like A to Z, how you do keyword research, and, but, but that's just like a 40 minute overview. And then if you wanna learn exactly how to do Amazon keyword research and optimization, sign up for the course down there, it is $1. The whole thing I explained there because this was the absolute hardest part for me to learn when I did, uh, when, I, when I got started on Amazon. So I have my uh, degree in applied mathematics and computer science, but it was still really hard for me to understand. And I've studied how search algorithms work and it took me a while to get it, but now it really makes sense to me. So I'm breaking it down, like what are keywords and absolutely everything in the course and these videos coming out. So make sure you look at the description down there for that next video and the course. But let's get into this and I'll show you guys exactly how Merchant Words is wrong and then now how you can find the exact Amazon search data to get accurate keyword research. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and look at the exact volume for these keywords and just show how Merchant Words is incorrect. Now, if we look up the word hippie pants, we're looking that up because my wife wears hippie pants. Uh, and she, she 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 told me like the words that she would logically use to look them up and like I just want to compare what is the search volume on all of these tools and see where the accurate data is. So if we look at merchant words, this is estimating that there are 67,000 searches a month right there for the word hippie pants. But if we go to Helium 10 and we use their tool Magnet, so you just click on Magnet here and put in the keyword, we'll find that there's actually only 4,964 searches for the exact phrase hippie pants and then broad, so something that's like uh, the uh, like hippie pants women or something, is 8,681. Now, if we take a look at viral launch right here, we're gonna see that hippie clothes, the term when we look it up at the top is 5,115. Now, from I've talked to the CEOs of both Viral Launch and Magnet. From my understanding, they are getting data from the exact same source. It's just wondering uh, when they update their tool and you know exactly how they display it. But they are normally about the exact same. They're getting the same data, and this is from Amazon. And Merchant Words is just not getting them from data. This data from Amazon. So this could be very dangerous when you're looking at this. You may think the market for hippie pants or that keyword of hippie pants is much larger than it actually is. So this is one error. Like this is the number one error with Merchant Words, incorrect volume. But it also, like when you are finding correlated words, so you don't wanna just find hippie pants because whenever you purchase a product, there are hundreds of keywords that are potentially gonna get you sales. Now. Merchant Words is not going to find all of those ones that are, are correlated to as well. It finds some of them, but then it w when it finds you correlated terms, they aren't always correct on the amount of search volume that are there. So it may say, uh, for example, hippie pants for kids. Let's go with that one. All right, so we've looked up hippie pants for kids on Magnet with Helium 10, and it's there's only eight exact searches per month for this keyword. While Merchant Words is telling us that there are 14,400. This is very, very dangerous. You may have thought, look at the market hole for hippie pants for kids. All right, so we've just gone and we've looked on Amazon for hippie pants for kids. And look, there's just no revenue here at all. So with the, when we looked at viral launch, also hippie pants for kids, there's zero searches. So it's just, that essentially means there's nothing. So there are literally no, there's nobody looking up hippie pants for kids. Okay, but yet Merchant Words thinks that there's 14,400 people a month searching this. So don't be using Merchant Words. They are giving you the related keywords, uh, all the volume is wrong, and they are giving you uh, false ideas of what markets one should enter into. Why, why would you go and get an extrapolation of the data when you can just go get the data from the horse's mouth, all right? This is like, I and mean, previously we've never been able to get Amazon data 
but we finally have that opportunity to get Amazon data directly and go take advantage of it. So now I wanna tell you guys, just show you a little bit about these tools and how they're powerful. So they are powerful in, you're gonna get that exact data, but then on top of that, you're gonna find those exact other keywords that are related to it. And that's where the true power in this lies. Okay, so I've shown you guys that the data from Viral Launch and Helium 10 is much more accurate than Merchant Words, so it's a no-brainer that you should be using one of these two. Now I want to show you exactly how these tools are used for keyword research, just a preview of the next videos to come. All right, so if we take a look at these tools, so we could t take these and put it into magnets, so we could type in hippie pants here, and we type it into Viral Launch, and they will both give us uh, data and suggested keywords. So they're very accurate data, both using that, but let's see which one gives us more suggestions. So uh, just at a, at a glance, Viral Launch gives us a total of 123 suggested keywords, while uh, Helium 10 will give us 453. Now, Viral Launch uses their algorithms to give you a more curated of these are the highest priority ones for you to be using which is very nice and if you're a beginner and you're just trying to get the 80 20 that is nice because you could just take those and probably go and run with them and do less work but i like to have all of the information possible in my hands so i like to use the helium 10 because look so we have 453 uh total keywords here. So we're going to get in more keywords that we could look. And then they have this magnet IQ score, which will essentially give us a, a, a reading. So the higher the IQ score, the better of how b good of an opportunity this potentially is versus how many products there are compared to how many there uh, searches there are per month. And then how well optimized the keyword, the products are for those keywords. And then what is really the power of Helium 10 is the Cerebro tool here. This allows us to take the top, take uh, a listing and see all of the keywords that it's indexed for. So now let's say we take the top selling hippie pants, okay? So that was this listing right here. What we could do is we take that ASIN and we put it in a Cerebro and then it tells us literally everything that that is indexing for, that is relevant. Now there's this narrow and the wide feature. So if we want to just get the ones that are really, really with the relative to it based off of exact Amazon relevancy data, we can. But if we want to make it wide and just see everything and see where the holes in the market are, which keywords there are just like at a giant level, now all of a sudden we're starting to see more. So Palazzo Pants for Women has quite a high search. And when we look this up on Amazon, there are definitely hippie pants that are showing up here and um, other ones that are, are hippie relative, but we would have never found this out with the viral launch keyword tool. So this is going to give you a complete view of the market and you're going to need to see for your hippie pants or whatever you build, which of these keywords do you think that you could rank for? Uh, so this is just going to be a really great way to get the, well, like, see absolutely everything. So I have my strategies of how I use these tools exactly in the next video uh, coming out and in the course. But like I've said, Use the links down below. Get that seven-day free trial of Helium 10 and the 10% off for life on all your plans. Uh, or you could buy a la carte just the Cerebro tool or Magnet tool. Uh, or go ahead and get the Viral Launch one 50% off. Just take away that Merchant Words is an extrapolation of data and you want to get closest to the data source as possible. That way you can know. Like if you're trying to get information from your customers, you don't want to... Uh, talk to your customer's like mom and then like see what she says that they're they want like no go talk to them directly uh, uh maybe that's not the best analogy but you always want to get closest to the source and the data because then you can make educated decisions and uh mathematically choose something that works all right you guys so make sure you're checking out these new tools that you're signed up for the course down there subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get known when i let out new videos it's time for me to go hike in New Zealand here. I hope that you guys have a great day and go do something epic with your life.